So if you're fully ready for the Alex Math placement test, well, you should be able to easily solve this problem right here. Okay, so we want to determine the slope, or m, between these two coordinates or points. So we have negative 5, 6, and 0, negative 2. So what is the slope of a line that runs to these two points? Okay, now if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to walk through the full solution in just one second. Also, if you need help studying for the Alex Math placement test, you got to check out my full main Alex Math uh, placement test test prep course. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. It will really, really help you out. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the full solution right now. So we're trying to calculate the slope between these two points, right? Now, these two points, okay, are uh, an xy point. All right, now xy point uh, on the Cartesian plane or xy um, axis, right, or xy plane, uh, this is just referred to as an ordered pair or a coordinate, okay? Now, it's a pair, and they're, uh, you know, basically this is a, an address, right? If you were like going to a friend's house and they would say, oh, here's my address. Uh, well, you know, that's describing the location of something, right? Or the location of a home. Now, if you want to find the location of a point on the XY plane, this is the address system. It's an ordered pair. We put our X coordinate first and our Y coordinate second. So this is what we have here are two points on the xy plane. So let's go ahead and plot these points here. So here we have negative five, six. So it's negative five on the x-axis. So it would be like one, two, three, four, five. This is negative on the x-axis and then positive six on a y. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now this is just an estimation, but that's uh, generally where uh, negative five, six would be uh, located at, okay? All right, now the other uh, coordinate that we're dealing with is zero, negative two. So zero on the x-axis and negative two on the y. So that point would be right there. Now, what we're trying to do is calculate the slope that um, uh, basically if a line passes through these two points, we want to determine the slope of that line. Now, the slope is basically, it's just a number that describes the angle or steepness of a line. Okay, so if you're trying to say, hey, this line's pretty steep, uh, you know, or, you know, as compared to, let's say, a line like this, well, how do we, you know, kind of um, uh, define or describe the steepness of a line? Well, in algebra, we use this uh, concept called the slope. Now, let me just tell you some real basic things here. Uh, lines that increase from left to right, okay, in the upward manner, like so, from left to right, they increase, these lines have a positive slope. If you see me write a little m right there, that's uh, indicating slope. So in other words, the slope, when you're done with it, will be a positive number. Now, uh, lines that fall from left to right, like so, they're kind of going downhill, these lines are going to uh, be negative, okay? So if you're kind of thinking about uh, the slope and, you know, you know, you're basically looking at this problem and you're saying, well, you know, I'm not quite sure if the answer is going to be positive or negative. You can just quickly, you know, sketch out the two points and it just can be a rough estimation and be like, yeah, this should be negative. So your final answer should be negative. Now, lines that are um, horizontal like so, these lines have a zero slope. And then last but not least, we have vertical lines. Okay, and what kind of slope do you think they have? Well, they actually do not have any slope. We actually call this an undefined slope, and uh, that's kind of further uh, for further uh, discussion on slope, uh, more instruction. But you do need to understand this. Okay, but for right now, you should have a, a basic sense of you know uh, the um, slope. If you got a line going like this direction, it's going to be negative. Like this direction, positive, undefined, and zero. Okay, now let's go ahead and actually define a uh, slope. Now, a slope is um, defined as the rise over the run of a line. Okay, now the rise is how much the line is increasing. Okay, and that's going to be what we call the change in y. Okay, now this is a little delta symbol. It's kind of fancy math and uh, science symbol. If you've never seen this, don't, don't worry about it. Basically, it's the change or the differences of the y's, and then the run is the differences of the x. So let me just show you this real quick, because this is a really important concept. We'll kind of erase all of this, even our little problem here. Now, if you're saying to yourself, um, 
Yes, I understand this. Well, let's just kind of take a moment for those that may not. All right, so here, let's suppose we have a line like so, okay? Now we're trying to determine the slope of this line. Well, basically the way the slope is described, okay, again, as is uh, as a fraction, okay? So the slope is going to be a uh, fraction and it's gonna be the rise over the run. So this line right here is rising, let's suppose, this is a three, okay, on the y-axis right here, okay? So this is running out. We're going, increasing three for every, uh, let's say for every uh, five it goes out, okay? So the slope is the rise, okay? Here it's uh, going up positive three. For every five it runs out, okay? So this is uh, the slope. Now, um, again, more discussion on the slope, and you can see uh, this is... Um, a positive as it should be, but uh, basically that's what the slope is, okay? It's a fraction that uh, indicates uh, the steepness of the line. So in this case, it'd be three-fifths. The line is increasing three for every five it runs out to the right. Okay, so just a quick review uh, so on some of the basics about slope. There's actually more to, you know, more details, if you will, that you want to kind of get into, but uh, for those of you that didn't know this, now you know this. So now let's go ahead and get into the actual uh, kind of formula to calculate slopes or the slope of a line, excuse me. So here we're dealing with X, Y um, uh, ordered pairs, right? Coordinates. So in other words, back to our original problem, we're trying to calculate the slope between this point and this point. And both of these points here are X, Y ordered pairs. Okay, this is the X here, this is the Y, this is the X, and this is the Y. So the formula uh, for slope uh, basically looks like this. Now it could be confusing, uh, but don't let this confuse you too much. Basically says, hey, if you wanna um, calculate the slope between two points, uh, so this would, let's call this our first point. So that would be x sub one and y sub one. This little uh, subscript, that one, that just is saying that, hey, this x is gonna be different than our second point, x sub two. These are just two separate points. It's still an x and y and x and y. This is our first point, and this is our second point. That's all that notation means. But if we look at the formula here, it's going to kind of highlight this right now. The, uh, to calculate the slope, what we want to do is subtract or find the differences of the y's. So here, we're going to take y2, whatever this coordinate is, and subtract away y1. And then we'll take x2, okay, this uh, coordinate right there, and subtract away this x1 right here. Okay. Now, most uh, students, uh, you know, look at this, but yeah, yeah, I know this, Mr. YouTube math man. Uh, you know, you're making this a, a much uh, bigger deal than it actually is. So students are, you know, again, a lot of students are like, yes, I know this. However, guess what happens on tests and exams? Many of them uh, calculate the slope incorrectly. Okay. And I'll kind of highlight why here in a second. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into our problem. Let's calculate the slope between our two points here. So you can see the x, the x uh, coordinates are in green, okay, and the y coordinates here are in blue. So what we're going to do is subtract the y's. So we're going to find the differences of the y's, right? We're just basically following this formula here. So we're going to subtract the y's. That's how most people uh, think about it. So the y's are going to be what? Whoops, not this one. Uh, six and negative two. Now, does it make a difference if I go negative two minus six? Well, I'm gonna talk about this here in a second. So, okay, I'm gonna subtract the y's. I'll find the differences of the y's. So that's six minus a minus two. All right, no problem, okay? Now I'm gonna find the differences of the x's, right? So that's what we have here in green. So that's going to be negative five minus zero. Okay, right here. And now we're gonna just uh, do this arithmetic. So six minus minus two is the same thing as six plus two, which is eight and negative five minus zero is negative five. And then of course we can just clean that up as the slope being equal to negative eight fifths. All right, now this is the way this problem was done correctly. Okay, this is uh, the correct answer and everything is set up uh, right. But let's see how we can make this wrong. Okay, and I'm gonna erase all this right here. And then I'll show you a way uh, to avoid uh, getting uh, wrong answers. Now there's a couple, there's basically two mistakes that students make when they're faced with this. They'll forget the slope equation and what they'll do 
instead of uh, doing the differences of the y's, a change of y's up here, they'll do the x's, right? So they might go negative 5 minus 0, okay? And then they'll go 6 uh, minus, let's say, a negative 2. So that's a common mistake. They just kind of uh, flip things, um, you know, <laughs> they'll put the, the x's where the y's go and the y's where the x's go, okay? So that's uh, a you know, pretty common mistake, but not as common as what I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go back to our problem. So let's say um, you're like, nope, I'm gonna put the y's in the numerator. And this time we're gonna go like this, uh, negative two, okay, we'll subtract the y's this way, negative two and six. I'm gonna go negative two minus six. I'm like, yep, uh, these are the y's, I'm subtracting them. And then I'm going to go um, negative five and zero. Okay, negative five minus zero. And let's say what we come up with here. So negative two uh, minus six is a negative two plus a negative six, which is what? Negative eight over negative five minus zero, which is what? Negative five. And now this is negative uh, over negative. That's positive, right? So a student would calculate this out as a positive eight fifths. Now, when they get this wrong, they're going to be, you know, they're going to have an expression like this. What are you talking about, Mr. Math teacher? I'm right. I did everything absolutely right. And unfortunately, they're going to have some tears when the math teacher explains, well, here is what you did wrong. Okay. And again, this is probably the most common mistake uh, here. So if you made this mistake, that's outstanding because, um, actually, let me uh, back up here because I don't want you to make this error. Okay, so what is the error here, okay? Well, the error is the following, all right? So here, you started off with this y value, and then you subtracted this y value, okay? So effectively, what you did is you started off the point, your calculation, using this point's information, okay? In other words, we started with this negative 2. That was the first um, coordinate we plugged in. So we started with this point's information. Then... Down here in, in uh, the denominator, you did what? You started with this point's information, negative 5 minus 0. Okay? You cannot do that. You will get the slope uh, uh, incorrect. So in other words, what you have to do is you have to stay consistent. So um, you can start with either point. You can start with this. Let's start with this point because this is the way I did the prompt. Okay? And the way I like to do the slope is just underline one point. It could be either point. doesn't make a difference. And, and this, these um, coordinates have to be first in our, in our calculation. So let's subtract the y's. Uh, uh, then we'll subtract the x's. So this is going to be 6 minus a minus 2. Okay? Then, because I did uh, 6 first, I have to use negative 5 first in my denominators, negative 5 minus 0. So this will give us, what, 6 minus minus 2, 8 over negative 5, which, of course, will be the correct answer. Now, you can do it the other way. Okay, let me go erase this. And I'm so happy you're watching this video because I'm telling you, so many people out there make this mistake. Okay, so let's go ahead and underline this uh, coordinate, right? So it's going to take the differences of the y's. So that would be negative 2. That's our first y minus 6. And then we're going to take 0. Okay, we're going to start with 0 as our first x minus a negative 5. Okay, so we'll have to do it this way. This is the differences of the x's. So uh, negative 2 minus 6 will give us negative 8 over a negative of a negative is positive 5. We still have the same answer, negative 8 fifths. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, there is a lot of math on the Alex Math Placement Test. And you don't want to go in there uh, underprepared because that will have uh, negative uh, consequences as you really do want to place into the best math course for you. So make sure to check out my Alex Math Test Prep course. Again, you can find a link to that in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.